All right, well, executives at the eye of the storm when the U.S. banking system collapsed are on Capitol Hill today. They're addressing the House Financial Services Committee. Former SVB CEO Greg Becker reiterated that SVB's collapse occurred due to a series of, quote, unprecedented events. First Republic CEO Michael Roffler also speaking. He blamed that collapse on contagion in the aftermath of the failure of SVB. There was no doubt collateral damage. A hundred billion dollars worth of deposits were withdrawn from the banks in the weeks that followed. Now, Roffler added that no regulator expressed concerns over the bank's liquidity, something certainly to keep in mind.